Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we all know that seafood is good for you, and I'll admit that I don't eat it as often as I should. Maybe in the occasional sushi. Plus, this is gonna be my first seafood recipe here at MRK, and I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. But anyways, I do have an easy salmon recipe for you that you make in a paper bag. Yeah, weird, right? Anyways, let me show you. Welcome to my kitchen. start with is an herbed butter, which is super simple. It's basically fresh herbs mixed in with your butter. Let's get into it. All right, so I have some softened butter that I'm gonna set aside, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop our herbs. So I have some basil, and to chop this, what we're gonna do is we're going to stack the leaves first, just like that. Beautiful. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this up like a cigar or blunt. Not that I've ever done that before, I promise. Although I guess it is good practice. Moving on. So we're gonna roll this tight, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice these across, creating thin little ribbons. And the oregano is gonna be similar to the time. We're gonna start at the sturdiest point, and we're gonna pull down, taking the leaves with us. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna give the oregano a rough chop. Beautiful. Now, for the time, um, simply start at the sturdiest spot at the top. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pull down and we're gonna take the leaves along with it. Now the tops can be kind of flimsy, so what you do is just kind of separate those individually. And now we're just gonna add this to our softened butter. If you're using unsalted butter, then you'll just wanna add some salt, maybe a little bit of pepper. But if you're using salted butter, then you're fine from this point forward. And then we're gonna give this a really good mix. Awesome. Now, I have a piece of plastic here, and I'm gonna scoop the herb butter onto the piece of plastic. Now we're going to roll and elongate the butter into the plastic. And just make sure you have it as, as elongated as you want so that you have a, a kind of a new stick of butter basically. And then we're going to twist the ends to seal it all up. Beautiful. And then this goes into the fridge to firm up. All right, now let's chop some veggies. All right, so I have both green and red cabbage so that it kind of has a little bit of variety in color. I have a quarter of each, and what I want to do is just chop these into thin strips. Then we're going to place these into a large bowl and then just set that aside. All right, so I have a yellow and a red onion as well. I have a quarter of each that I just want to slice into thin slices also. Beautiful, and then we're going to add these to the cabbage. All 
Now we're gonna drizzle some oil over the cabbage mixture. And I'm using avocado oil, but you can also use coconut or extra virgin olive oil. Those work great too. Then we're just gonna hit this with some S&P, salt and pepper. And then give it a really good mix. All right, now it's time to put salmon in a bag. So we have our wonderful paper lunch bags. I know, right? You thought you were done with these, but you're not. All right, so we're gonna start by putting a bed of cabbage at the bottom. And then we're gonna top this with two slices of lemon. Beautiful. All right, and we're just gonna give the lemon a little squeeze so we have some of that lemon juice getting all up in there. And now the salmon. Now, you can use whatever kind of salmon that you like, skin or no skin. I have skin on mine, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the salmon in the bag, skin side down. Perfect. Then on top of this goes our wonderful herbed butter. We're just going to use about one to two slices of this. Genius. Now we just seal up the bag by rolling it over several times. And what this will do is this will create some nice pouches for everything to kind of dance and marry and stuff. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna place these on a baking sheet. And then these go into the oven at about 350 for 30 minutes. And there you have paper bag deliciousness. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more. And comment below if you're definitely gonna try this salmon in a bag and tell me how easy is it, right? <laughs> you can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you much for being here and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.